In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this cool Bitcoin paper wallet. So we're gonna cover where you can get a Bitcoin paper wallet, how you can do it yourself, are they safe and what are they even good for? So Bitcoin paper wallet actually stores your keys on a piece of paper your public key for receiving and your private key for sending Bitcoin. And once you decide to send it off the blockchain, you connect it to an online wallet. So how do you make one? Well, you need to find a online wallet generator. Now there's a lot out there you can use. The one I'm gonna show you today is walletgenerator.net is my favorite and what I've used over the past couple years and which I trust. Not the best idea to trust these online wallet generators. Um, because they are generating your private keys for you, meaning that if they have access to these private keys, they can take all of your Bitcoin whenever they want. Even random number generators online have been shown to be rigged, so it would only make sense that there's a lot of traps out there when creating uh, public and private keys uh, for individuals. You can't totally trust that that website's legit. Maybe you typed in the website address wrong. So I don't recommend storing a ton of Bitcoin on paper wallets. You're gonna sleep a lot better at night if you have a actual cold storage device for your Bitcoin. That being said, I've stored Bitcoin on this wallet for years and really have no problem so far. To make it extra secure, this wallet generator is actually open source and you can look at all the code and download it on your device and then generate your wallet completely offline to give it that extra layer of security. In some situations, like comparing a hot wallet to a paper wallet, a paper wallet may be safer because it stores your private keys completely offline on a piece of paper, not connected to the internet 24 seven. So the theory is it's a lot harder for somebody to steal your Bitcoin or your private keys. They would actually have to physically get this piece of paper and know what they're doing with it versus having a wallet connected to the internet 24 seven that is 24 seven at the risk of a internet spyware malware attack. So at least in theory, a Bitcoin paper wallet could be safer and is considered a cold wallet. So to get started, we're gonna go to walletgenerator.net. And if you can see, as you move your mouse, um, it will be creating a random number, um, or you could add characters into these text boxes if you like. You could also skip this step, but uh, just to create that more randomness, you can do this. So what pops up next is your keys. So your public key on which you will receive your Bitcoin and then your private key in which you want to send your Bitcoin off of this specific wallet. So they give you all the instructions here on how to use it. And we're going to go to this tab up here. And this is the public and private key that we just generated in kind of this cool template that you can print out and use. You can actually enter a passphrase, passphrase to this wallet if you want. The only way you can actually get back into this wallet is knowing that passphrase. So if somebody ever takes this piece of paper, they're gonna also have to know the passphrase that you put onto this wallet. But this could be risky too, because if you forget that, you cannot get your Bitcoin back and it's locked into this address. And that's where you kind of see the stories of guy forgets password locked out of $100 million worth of Bitcoin because they put a passphrase on their wallet. So next step, we wanna print this out. So we are going to press print and it's gonna bring up our print screen. Always print this out in landscape. It's gonna create a bigger version. Uh, if you print this out in portrait, it comes out really small. So when you're printing, be aware that when you print, it's actually you're sharing your data with your printer. That printer might be connected online, especially if it's wireless. So they might have a cloud storage in which they store a lot of your prints could have access to your private key. If you want to keep that security, make sure your printer's offline, never have the ability to connect to the internet and plug right into your um, offline device. When you've printed out and folded your Bitcoin paper wallet, it's going to look like this. When you open it up, you're going to have your public key. So this is where you're gonna be sending your Bitcoin. And then on the inside of your public key, you actually have your private key as well. And then if we flip it over, um, it has the instructions on the back where you can put the amount, date, and note. Um, the first instruction says to deposit funds in this paper wallet, send cryptocurrency to the public address anytime. So that is the inside. We can send Bitcoin here anytime. Second step is verify your balance by searching a public blockchain explorer, such as blockchain.info, which I'll show you how to do. And do not reveal the private key to anyone until you're ready to import the balance of this wallet or send it off. We're gonna show you how to send Bitcoin to this paper wallet and 
also get Bitcoin off of this paper wallet. I'm gonna use my personal wallet to send Bitcoin to this paper wallet. For you, that might be your personal wallet or it might be directly from an exchange. First thing we want to do is we are going to scan this public key and it will scan here. And these are the fees right now, so it's pretty cheap. I guess I need to put in a balance. <laughs> I'll need to put in a balance first. I'm going to put a really small amount. I'm really only willing to risk uh, about $15 right now. Uh, fees are really low. And so I'm going to press next. Again, making sure that this is completely correct. And I'm going to confirm this transaction at 55 cents. So after you send Bitcoin to this wallet, you can look up the public key to this address. So you can search a block explorer. My favorite is mempool. So you can put in the public key here and you can search how much is on that specific wallet. Now this is a bit of a security issue. If somebody's really trying to see what you got, um, they can kind of track what uh, public keys you're looking up and track it back to your computer. So just be aware of that, uh, but you can mitigate this if you run your own node. Check out my video on that. Bitcoin's on this paper wallet and it's gonna be here until we get it off. But the question is, how do we get Bitcoin off this paper wallet? So what we have to do is import the private key into a wallet software. What I'm gonna use is Blue Wallet. You can get this on a mobile device or your computer. Super easy, user-friendly to use. Also have a video on how to use that. And so after I've opened Blue Wallet, what I'm going to do is add a new wallet. I'm gonna press Import Wallet and then I am going to import the private key. So I'm gonna press scan and import the private key. And now it is added successfully to Blue Wallet. So we can click on this and we can see how much is on this wallet. Um, I can change it to dollars, I can change it to Bitcoin or Satoshis. And you can see nine minutes ago, the confirmation occurred. Okay, so this is currently what's on the Bitcoin. Well, at $15, 0 0.0021 Bitcoin or 21,000 sats. If I want to move this off of the paper wallet, it's now on blue wallet and I can use that to send it elsewhere. So what I'm gonna do now is press send and I'm going to scan the address of my wallet I'll be sending it to. I'm going to put my total amount and it will ask if I want to use a full balance, so I put max. There is your fee, going to press next, and we'll get my confirmation of sending it to, just double checking the address, and we're good to go. So on the blue wallet, you'll see it pending, and then when the confirmation comes through, it will be confirmed and your balance will now be zero. But what's the point of a Bitcoin paper wallet? Well, you can actually generate and store your public keys completely offline yourself in a sovereign way. It's kind of a fun way just to play around with Bitcoin, understand how to send and receive, get comfortable with it all. And what I've noticed, it is a great way to gift someone Bitcoin. The holiday season's coming up. When you give somebody this, it's actually like a physical gift or like a gift card of Bitcoin. It really says something to actually get something physical, they can look at it, kind of look at the addresses, ask questions. It's more of a real feeling and just to deposit it into their account. When you see a gift card or cash, it feels more real than just receiving a deposit into your bank account. Now it's not the most secure way to give Bitcoin because I've actually generated the private key myself. So if I was giving this to any real Bitcoiner, they should know right away to put it into a wallet they own because I could still have the private key. So it's not the most secure way. If you're looking for the most secure way to gift Bitcoin or to trade Bitcoin in person, you're gonna to need to look up Open Dimes. And these are actual ways to trade and gift physical Bitcoin in which the sender does not have the private key, only the receiver will have that private key. Now the negatives of these wallets, so they're not the safest, they're just a piece of paper that could easily be lost, could easily be damaged, um, and then your private key is gone, you have no way to access it again. And you've gone through a lot of trust points in order to generate these private keys. That's your website, that is your browser, that is your operating system, that is your printer, to get through all of those hoops to make sure they're secure. But I hope you found this video tutorial interesting and useful. I have a lot more videos on my channel about Bitcoin and how to use Bitcoin wallets. So if you want, go check those out and uh, thanks for watching.